and welcome friends, my name is Frenzy, and today we're taking a look at probably one of the most important mods in our mod overview series, and that is Kerbal Engineer Redux, or KER for short. It has been around a very long time, and it is uh, probably the only mod in Kerbal that I could honestly say I, I just can't live without. You know, it takes Kerbal in some ways from being a guessing game or having to do a lot of math, <laughs> which is good too. I, I encourage you to do it if you prefer doing, you know, coming up with your Delta V and some of your, your information based on doing the math, do that. That's awesome. But for me, who's bad at math, um, Kerbal Engineer is amazing. And we're just going to jump right in here and talk about it. Um, so it's available in the VAB when you're building. So you can see your, essentially the stats, right? What's your, what's your vehicle? What's your launch? vehicle is capable of. So we see our t our Delta V here. We have the total Delta V on the right, um, and then we have the Delta V on the left, right? This is very useful information when we're trying to get places. For example, if we're trying to go to Duna, we know that takes over 1,600 total Delta V. Um, based on this, we would know, if we fly efficient, uh, that this vehicle should be able to at least get into orbit around Duna. And so... Um, it, it just, it's just so much good information. You have thrust to weight. You can change it to atmospheric on Kerbin. That way we know exactly, all right, stats are going to change when we're low in the atmosphere versus when we're in space, right? And you can change it even, all right, let's see what it takes if we were, if this thing was launching from Duna. Maybe we have a base there. Maybe we built the rocket there. This is what it's going to be like on Duna. Very, very useful information. Um... But we're going to go ahead and check out the customization as well on screen. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now that we're on the launch pad here, you can see we have a lot of a lot of cool information going on here. Um, this is mostly where Kerbal Engineer hangs out at the top. And the beauty of Kerbal Engineer that makes it so beautiful, it's so customizable. You see you have HUD 1 and 2 here. Um, you can install anything that you think is useful to, you know, whatever it is you're into. I, I have it on the default right now just for the sake of the monitor view. Um, but there's a lot of useful information here. Like, I like to have my, my thrust to weight on there. Um, that can be particularly useful at times. You know, when I'm landing things, you know, I like to land, reland stages. I could put a suicide burn. It, it's not 100% accurate, but it's fairly accurate. I could put something like that on there. Um, I could put my my pitch heading or my roll heading or um, let's see what else do we have here rendezvous stuff. So if rendezvous is a struggle for you sometimes, you, know, you can put orbital period, distance, uh, just just it's almost it's almost countless. There's there's thermal readouts. Um, there is characteristics of your current SOI. There's miscellaneous things that they have, you know, just just tons of different information here that is extremely useful. You can customize it to however you want. You can have engineer pop up if you really like having uh, quick access to things. All right, so we have our rendezvous, um, you know, so we can, you know, there's there's all different types of things that you can do with it, and it is <laughs> it is absolutely just just beautiful. And so you know, you can really customize it to your needs and your desire, and it just Amazing information. I, I hope one day it'll be like in stock because it is that useful. It is that good. And it, it's also really kind of lets you learn the math and the kind of the science behind what's going on behind the scenes as well, which is just another really cool thing as, as well. All right. Lastly, I just thought I'd put myself in here around Duny. You can see, it was some weird glitching things. I need to probably reload my mods. Uh, <laughs> but we, we have some just, uh, we're, we're, I put myself in orbit around Duny. I did not, I did not fly here. I cheated. Um, but. I just wanted to, sh to show off the mod a little bit. So you can see there's a lot of useful things. Uh, you know, if you're playing career mode, you know, you can see the biome you're above. There's actually, I think, an option to where you can even see which biome you're going to impact based on, you know, where you're going to hit. This is uh, uh, Kerbal Trajectories, by the way, because I, I know people will ask, so, uh, which is a great mod, too. You should definitely check out, check out that video as well. But... Um, yeah, so we, we get a lot of useful information. We know our thrust to weight is uh, three and a half. You know, we have... Um, our altitude, we're 45,000 meters off the deck, and we know this is roughly how much we're going to need to essentially slow ourselves down and land on the planet. This is all really useful information when we're trying to land something. Uh, of course, it doesn't take into consideration things like parachutes, right? Parachutes completely change how much we're going to need to, to land this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect here, and we're just going to go ahead and land this for the funsies. And again, just just kind of showing off some of this this information as we as we head into Duna here. So very cool. Let's extend our landing gears. We'll be all right. We're not worried about heat. As you can see here, as we're we're going down uh, through the atmosphere again, that delta V getting less, right? Because 
we're slowing we're slowing down obviously that makes sense right and so we um we know uh you know exactly how much delta v it's going to take to get there you know i could have put on if i wanted to uh something probably to assist here but because if you show like the delta v or the suicide burn altitude and distance sometimes that can be really useful uh, we're gonna go ahead and deploy shoots here hopefully they will deploy there we go Remember, this is Duna, so parachutes don't get much extraction, we'll say. <laughs> but uh, they're still useful here. So we know we need, we need about 100 meters per second of delta V. Um, again, if I if I was if I put that information on here, which I, I theoretically could, uh, oh, there we go. So 412, yeah. So we know we have plenty of delta V to get this done. You know, things like that are really useful, and this is why we love. Um, this is why I love Kerbal Engineer, right? It's 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 extremely effective at giving you all this wonderful information here honestly this thing could probably impact and still be okay at 13 meters per second val val would probably be a little mad about it and i don't blame her but um you know this is a very light light command pod so um you know we know the altitude 30 feet so that's very useful information you know and a nice nice little touchdown too shoots deployed and that is it ladies and gentlemen again if you enjoyed this video do indeed tap that like button let me know you enjoyed it um of course, if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. I played this and other games. And finally, leave some comments down below. Say hello down below. It rhymes. It's beautiful. Um, you know, if you want to see other mods or you just have questions about the mod in general, please feel free to leave them below. I love answering questions, so definitely do so. You guys have left me some very, very nice and uh, inspiring comments. So please, please uh, comment down below. And uh, of course, as always, I'll see you next time.